Hello, it's Trina Menzi, and today we're going to talk about another tool for uh, getting interactivity in your classroom. Today we're going to talk about the checker tool. Uh, checker tool creates instant feedback by letting the students know if they're correct or incorrect, and they are pulling words from an answer bank to fill in the blank or um, create a label for an item. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you'll start, of course, with a uh, text typed out or a graphic that needs labels, and you'll lock it in place. Then you find your checker tool in the gallery and place it on the page, clone it as many times as needed. Uh, after you've sized it appropriately for the space of the blanks that you've left, then you put in your answer key and create a word bank. Let me show you what a sample looks like. This is a sample I've built for what are parts of the computer. There are These are the checker tools right here. Drag text here. So I'm going to select a word and drag it. And it lets me know if it's correct or incorrect. See the little red X? So I know that's, whoops, that's not the computer. So let's try it here. That is the computer. So it gives me a green check when it's correct and a red X when it's not. So that's how it looks. So how do we do it? Here we go. This is my graphic that I want to use. I'm going to size it and lock it. I think this time I'll put my word bank over here. So I'm going to size it up about that big. Pull it down a little bit for a title. So now I'm going to go to the gallery. And I'm going to search in my gallery for the word checker. It brings up under interactive and multimedia one tool to use. And I'm going to drop it right here because I forgot I have not locked my graphic in place. Let's lock it so it doesn't get jiggled around. Now I'm going to use this guy and figure out about what size I need to make him. To resize, you just click on the little arrows on the side there. I think that's probably going to be a good size. So now I'm going to control C and control V and just create a bunch of copies. Then I'm just going to drag them around to where I need to place them. So I made a couple too many. All I gotta do is click on it and hit delete. There we go. So I have them appropriately sized. Now it's time to edit by clicking the double arrow. I'm gonna input my answer there. And so I would go through and do the rest of these. Now I'm going to click on my text tool, pick about an appropriate size, click here, and I'm going to say computer, create a new text box, desktop, monitor. I'm going to go back to my select tool so that I can space these guys space these items <clears throat> evenly. Then you should select all your items and tell them uh, you want them to be on infinite clone. That way as the students pull them it doesn't disappear on the side for the next student. It can make it a little more challenging because then they could actually go, oh, well that's not the computer. There we go. Ta-da! So that's how you do checker tool. I hope this I hope you found this very helpful and if you have questions or require assistance, paste your um, or post a 
response below. Thank you.